Hi, this is Highbridge Caravans Devon Branch and on this absolutely beautiful uh, autumnal day I think it's about the 10th of October something like that it might be the 9th and we are doing our third or fourth uh, monthly vlog so our video log where we have a little look at what vans are around and a little look at the state of the most home market as it is and what exactly is going on so it's a lovely day down here in South Devon it's Saturday afternoon it's been a really really busy day and um, sun's been out loads of customers still around motorhome market it's not really seasonal anymore in fairness to it was still really busy as you can see from these ranks of sold vans all of these are sold around here um, but we are a little bit low on stock so we've been busy uh, selling anything really if you can get it you can sell it um, market is still strong despite everything that's going on in the world there's still the demand for motorhomes is very very high and the supply of new ones is not great in fairness to it but it is maybe looking up a little bit so looking at the new vans we'll just look at the new vans that we've got first we've got our lineup of long-term demo models we've got our Adria Compact Supreme DL, uh, which is our, one of our best-selling coach-built vans. I think you know, we're ordering 2023 models off the back of this one. They've not changed for 2023. Uh, I think we've got four or five left for 2023 model year for delivery sometime next year, subject to Fiat. Now, the Fiat factory has been closed, apparently, for the last couple of weeks. Um, so while we are getting some sold Fiat units coming through now, again, every time the Fiat factory closes it stops the supply of the Fiats and the Peugeots and the Citroëns as well but that's the same with Mercedes and Volkswagen and everything else so we battle through it and the vans will all get built eventually so that's the Adri Compact Supreme DL narrow body low profile single beds over the garage uh, this is the only one you'll be able to see in the country so if you're thinking of ordering one you don't want to go and see the one at the NEC show because week after next it is the NEC motorhome show uh, we will be up there so Pete Wilson our Adria expert and ex-Adria caravan owner has come out of retirement he'll be manning the Adria stand for us I will be on Wild Axe myself there James our motorhome salesman will be covering Bailey Caravans the caravan boys are all too scared to leave Devon and uh, Brian our lovely sales support will be up there doing the dream of van conversion so if you're going to the NEC at Birmingham come and see us I will be as I say on Wild Axe come and say hi I'm Jody. Uh, it'd be nice to meet you so, new van demo wise, we've got the Adria there. Up at Somerset Branch, we've got a demonstrator Adria Twin 640 SGX, which is our best selling van conversion with the big lift up rear bed. Wild Axe wise, slight change. So, we've replaced our sold long term demo Aurora Leisure there in blue with this cancelled customer order Aurora Leisure in black. Now, there is an individual video on this on YouTube, which you can find it on YouTube or if you comment in the uh, comment section we can send you a link uh, but this is our new long-term demo it is available for reservation if anybody wants to buy it at the 2022 prices we've got to keep it on display well into next year next sort of march april may time um but it is available with a thousand pound deposit you can put your name on it come pick it up next year and you'll get it at this year's prices which are a big saving over next year's prices we've also got a europa which is a two berth n lounge model uh, this again is a long-term demonstrator this one is already reserved for next year there is a replacement one of these coming through in the not too distant future so this one's got the big two berth beautiful n lounge this one's got um, optional which I requested uh, full black leather you don't have to have that it's a two grand option it looks stunning if you like leather with wild axe you can have whatever upholstery you want regal furnishings do it if you don't want the new standard upholstery you can have leather you can have half leather you can pick from a thousand different cloths so uh, that's one of the real nice features about wild axe and it's one of the reasons why we really like them so that's the Europa two berth we've got the Aurora Leisure three berth and we've got a replacement display model Solaris XL uh, going into build shortly. That's the best selling bunk bed one. That will be through hopefully in the next four to six weeks or so. And we've also got the only Hillside Hopton currently built and on display in the country. This one again is available for a long term reservation, but we would have to keep it on display well into next year. That's a Volkswagen Crafter based six metre model, again with twin six foot sofas to the rear. Uh, full bathroom toilet and shower but on the Volkswagen Crafter um, not new but available for sale and soon to be replaced with a new demonstrator is this hillside Birchover classic 204 horsepower DSG automatic with heated seats and discovery media sat nav and a freshly fitted awning very slightly second hand it's actually done under four 500 miles 
66995 or we can order you a new one with different cab spec for a bit less money than that and that's about our new lineup so with anybody thinking of buying new uh, get yourself up to the NEC show see us up there um, availability is already getting tight for 2023 model years um, Volkswagen aren't accepting any new orders uh, for vans that aren't already on order same with Fiat Peugeot as well so uh, anybody thinking of ordering a new van if you want to get in the queue I would do that as quickly as possible so make sure you know what you want come and see us we are agents for Compass it's a Compass Navigator 120 up there that is available for sale at this year's prices it is a good buy for someone we've got backup stock on order for 2023 but we don't know how long it will take for them to arrive so we would set the little navigator 120 in lounge available so we're agents for compass adria wild axe hillside and also dreamer rapido death lefts uh, amongst others camper king uh, so we do many many new brands so used wise i say it's still it would be really busy if we had the stocks. We had a real good finish to last month and it's just knocked us down a little bit. We've got some real nice stock dripping back in again, including this beautiful Adri Matrix Supreme. I've not done a video on this yet. Now you would pay £105,000 odd for a new one of these. This one's uh, 68, is it? I can't quite see, 68 and a 95. So it's a real good saving on new. It's only done 11,000 miles. Looks superb in uh, full silver metallic. And it's got the Euro front lounge, twin single beds over the garage at the back and the big drop down at the front there. Loads of kit on it, solar panel, awning, um, upgrade, Pioneer sat nav, 150 brake engine. Uh, really good saving over new in fantastic condition. Got a lovely roller team T-line automatic that's still not sold and I don't know why. That's freshly reduced to 64.95 from 66.95. That's about 12 grand less than a new one that you can't get. Eldest Sunseeker 185 2021. These are probably £65,000 plus new. I'm top of my head for 2023 prices. And again, you can't get one. This one's 57995 It's only done 6,000 miles. Dealer special uh, with the metallic paint, uh, the awning, the alloy wheels, cab blinds, microwave. And this one's a very British van. Twin sofa front lounge, low single beds, and washer. We call it British. It's really a European layout, but caravan layout really so nice separate shower at the back full width end washroom low single beds narrow van so easy to get down the lanes you've got the microwave full kitchen with the big three-piece oven and grill you get the panoramic roof light on the dealer specials as well you've got auto headlights reversing camera aircon cruise it's got an alarm system all the nice bells and whistles and this is mint in fairness to it so it's a, a real nice thing so what you stock we do have is actually really good it's all just freshly arrived and uh, we will be out trying to fill the forecourt up a little bit as you can see there's a big bit of gravel there and we've got room to fill with motorhomes so things go in peaks and troughs you go through big selling bits and then it drops a bit and you've got to go out and restock the forecourt which is what we're doing at the moment anybody's got a van for sale we'd like to buy it cover you nationwide just uh, contact us at Highbridge Motorhomes Devon I'll put the contact details up at the end and you can uh, you can contact us and we'll come and buy your van off you so another eldest Sunseeker this one's a little bit older 42 and a 95 caravan layout again two berth end washroom all the same bells and whistles as the other one but just a big spacious luxury two berth narrow body again massive twin safe front lounge this is a layout that comes in and goes out of fashion every three to four years um, so it's a model which has been dropped now but there's a real a demand for it and I think manufacturers are going to be relaunching this layout again soon because it's what always happens panoramic front skylight again uh, no auto headlights on this one but you still got a cab blinds alarm system reversing camera big fridge freezer microwave real nice kitchen and a huge bathroom look at this it's so big you could get lost in there massive wardrobe which I can't open there we go look at that huge double wardrobe really really nice massive proper sort of static caravan style separate shower really good so if it's just two of you maybe your caravanners at the moment you've got that layout in your caravan then they're really good news 3000 mile big spacious end lounge auto trailer patchy 634 best value one in the country lowest mile one in the country that's a real nice thing for those like that sort of thing good storage underneath the back there so we'll come around into the camper van row so having a bit of an autumn sale so I've just been around and reduced a load of prices which is great 
reduced prices. That's not a word you'd see very often in the motorhome world, but just to get things rocking. So we've got this Globe Car left-hand drive automatic fixed bed van conversion. Really good spec, ideal for maybe one uh, who's touring Europe. DirtyWeekender.com, they're a company which specialise in motocross vehicles, but they also do leisure vehicles, fixed bed, N lounge, Citroen based van conversion. It's only done about 16,000 miles and it's 32.95, real nice spec conversion, unusual layout, but fixed bed with storage underneath, very high quality actually. This Timberland was a bit sort of grubby when it came in, but we've validated it about six times. It's come up really nice now. It's a 58 plate luxury Timberland van conversion on the Renault Master. It's done 60 odd thousand miles. It's not a low mileage van, but it's far from a high one. 27.95. It's one of them vans that's nice now. First, you've got a big, big twin sofa in lounge. Really nicely finished. A little bit dated, I don't know, it's a 2008 van, it's entitled to be, but good quality things in it. Gas tank underneath, swivel passenger seat, you've got air conditioning. 27,995, it's 2009, 2009 on a 58 plate, so actually a good buy for someone. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, we like that, double glazed windows. We really like this. We've sold this once already and the deal just fell out of bed. Uh, so I think people have forgotten we've got this. We had loads of interest in this and then it went off the website because we sold it subject to, to something and then it's gone back up for sale again. This is a cracker. 2020 um, automatic, nine speed automatic, uh, Autotrail V Line 635 SE. It's kind of the bit of stock that you really dream about as a motorhome dealer. This is what we want auto, British van conversions. Really, really good news. Nice simple layout, twin sofa and lounge, very very spacious, curved cabinet work, clean modern lines, nice TV, Avtex Pro, that's sort of 400 quid plus worth of TV, um, good bathroom as well, nice and simple, and then you've got twin swivel cab seats and a little seating area at the front, you've got the accent sat nav head unit, twin swivel cab seats, there's a little table that'll go there as well, lift up flap there. 59995 you'd be paying 70 plus for a new one of these and you won't actually be able to get one so that's very good news that should sell real quick uh, another Autotrail V-Line automatic that should also sell real quick this is one of the earlier V-Lines where they put their own roof on I have done an individual video of this one so again if you want a link mention it in the comments drop us a message uh, the Highbridge Caravans website uh, and we can send you an individual link for that one uh, so this is an Autotrail V-Line 620 very different from the other one as you can see they're all very rather stylish things back in 14 so you've got transverse fixed bed very Ikea-esque side kitchen, but with a side sofa lounge and a big panoramic skylight because they put their own roof on, which they stopped to save money in the latter years. This is six-speed automatic, 42.95. Uh, that should sell real quick as well, in fairness to it. Another thing that should sell really quick, so to have one, two auto second-hand van conversions is rare. And today we just bought this one, we just bought this about two hours ago. Um, this is a Belter, 2021 Auto Sleeper Fairford, based on the optional Fiat with the 9-speed automatic gearbox. Again, diamond bit of stock. Uh, 4,000 miles, local owner, just didn't have time to use it, nice guy publican. you got the fog lights, LED daytime running lights, the 16-inch wheels with the alloys. Wind out awning, it's also got a habitation aircon factory fitted, it's got gas barbecue point, uh, it's got the reversing camera up high and reversing sensors down low. Uh, around the other side we've got an external TV point, it's got a TV aerial on the roof, it's got a solar panel on the roof and it's got Wi-Fi 5G Pro on the roof and it's got an underslung gas tank so it's mega spec. All of those bits were standard that you'll see on Fairfords, but if you were to spec up a new Fairford, um, again, you're not going to be able to get one because they can't get the chassis awning, LED awning light. But yeah, spec one of these up new. I think we just did, and it was like upper 70s. This one's going to be 66 and a 95. So you're saving 10, 12 grand over new. It's done 4,000 miles. It's a year and a bit old. Fairford's unusual. It's got an end lounge, which isn't unusual at all which makes a double bed. They feel really big inside these. They feel really, really long. So these just pull together to make a double bed. Really nicely finished as well, auto sleepers. They do what they do and they probably do it uniquely as well as anybody else. 
big kitchen, look at the size of that kitchen, and this is a full four berth, so this makes a double bed, dead easy. Unusual use of a sliding door bathroom, but makes sense, save space. Fridge freezer there, microwave, full oven, habitation aircon. But the unusual thing with the Fairford is, you've got a front four seat dinette. Now, the reason they do that is because this can make a double bed. Now, I can't think of, I can only think of one other N lounge van conversion with four seat belts and two double beds, and that's the Swift Select 184, which is a fine thing, but to make this into a bed requires many cushions. Uh, this requires some cushions, but less. So you just drop the table down, you can extend it further if you want, uh, move some cushions around, and you've got, um, you've got two double beds then, which is really, really cool in Furness to it. And nine speed auto, as I say, with the nav, the camera, the sensors, everything on it 66995 uh four and a bit thousand miles and it's it's pretty much immaculate and it will be immaculate by the time it goes out so ought to sleep at fairford 2021 very very happy to buy that today we only bought it today it's the best thing that's happened today coming down to camper van alley Last year we sold these all through the winter and the year before. Um, it slowed down a little bit, so we've reduced them. So we've now got this Jazz down two grand to 33 to 95. Little tin top conversion there is quite cool, actually quite sporty. That's 18 to 95. Old T4, Volkswagen T4 high top. Um, guy has owned it since it was converted many, many years ago. And bar a little dent, which we're going to sort out, it is mint. No rust. It's only done 76,000 miles. Got a new gearbox and stuff in it as well. Uh, I love it, in fairness. 18,995. Is it worth it? I think it's worth it, in fairness to it. I think it's much better than a Ropey LT5 with more miles. It's a real cracker, that. 2.5 turbo diesel as well. Really good. Freshly converted mega spec Toyota uh, Alphard from Wellhouse. We're the best. Toyota Alphard converters that was only imported and converted from Japan in December last year they are the Japanese Rolls Royce of people carriers with a full British top of the range well house conversion including optional underslung gas tank full leather heating four wheel drive automatic it's been converted to a UK sat nav and standard side kitchen rock and roll bed with petrol powered blown air heating it's able back with powered by petrol because this is the 2.4 petrol which is actually really reliable and surprisingly economical as well from what i've read on the forums this big wave here we've had it a little while and i don't know why so it was 34.95 and it was worth that it's a high line base it's only on 34,000 miles big wave middle of the road vw converter from down in cornwall we get a lot of them they convert loads condition is absolutely fine all the normal stuff you'd expect swivel passenger seat rock and roll bed now 32 95 nice mileage highline spec base vehicle it should sell uh, it really should sport trooper so it's an auto sleeper trooper that's been sportified with running boards nice alloys bonnet wraps side bars you can take all that off if you want but i think it's kind of nice you got a fiamma wind out awning auto sleeper build quality diesel heating for 27 95 which is good news our Danbury Trail, we've just wrapped the bonnet in carbon fibre. Had a few stone chips on the bonnet this one, so we've just had it wrapped in carbon fibre, which I think looks amazing. Pop top, side kitchen, side kitchen rock and roll bed. Danbury, who are one of Britain's oldest VW converters, been doing it since the dinosaurs roamed the earth. Wider bed, pod kitchen, unusual layout, bit more uh, room inside of it. Um, not done so many miles either. This one in Furness, I think it's 30 odd thousand miles in. in Orange, I want to call it reflex orange, but that was the old full Capri colour. A couple of car arrived campers have both been reduced. This Riviera, real nice thing, down to 2095. It's only done 15,000 miles, so it's, you want to use it day to day. One, occasionally two, fantastic. A little wheel home for Ken, similar idea now, down to 16,095. It's as small a camper as money can buy. Across from there, this big six berth Swift 630L. Um, is what it is, big six berth end lounge van, very high spec, very low mileage, and it's priced to sell at 34,995. We've knocked a couple of grand off of our bunk bedded Shoson on the Transit, 27,995. It's got M bunks and uh, hobby with twin single beds for a bit of German quality. Now, I've just done an individual video on this Auto Sleeper Topaz. We just bought this the other day from a lovely guy in Wales who loves to change his van quite often and sell them to us. It's the only factory conversion still need to clean this to be just to burn my constant take. Legendary vans, topazes, because it's an auto sleeper, Volkswagen, D 
DSG automatic gearbox T5.1 only came out the year before this. You never see these used. And it's got a full toilet and shower at the back of it. As well, your full kitchen, your front lounge that makes single beds or a double bed. And it's automatic and it's priced at under 40,000 because it's done a bit of mileage. It's 38.95, but it's done 90 odd thousand miles. But these will do double that without breaking sweat. And it's probably six grand cheaper than any other one of that sort of age that you're likely to find. Some other nice VW campers as well. There's this, I think this is a status one. Um, one owner since it was converted when it was about a year old. Real nice light wood conversion with pipe leather. A bit different in fairness to it. 28 and a 9, 5, 2008 on a bomb proof T5, 1900. That won't let you down. A Denby. Denby are very well known. 2016, 37 and a 9, 5. Very modern inside, you've got the leather seats, the side kitchen with the high gloss cabinet work. That's good news as well. I love this, this little Auto Cruise Pulse. Built from new by Auto Cruise, who are today owned by Swift. Indeed, were owned by Swift when this was made. It's 2010, it's only done 41,000 miles. It's a side kitchen camper on a Fiat Scudo. Every bit, I think, more car-like, much more car-like than to transport a drive. Drives like a car. Factory fitted diesel heating from new. A slide bed system so you can have more storage at the back or more living space and this simply converts into a double bed 12 volt fridge freezer which has still got the original plastic wrapping on the door so that's probably had a new fridge maybe or just never been wrapped and 2195 just been reduced in 2495 this is a cheap van i would buy that myself in fairness to it if i was buying a camper it's got the reversing sensors and the tow bar uh, so that's about it really, so that's where we are in early October, so it's still busy, we need some more stock, we'll be up the show, come and see us, say I'm Jody. come and see me on the Wild X stand, uh, or see any of my colleagues up there at the NEC show, or pop down and see us, we've got a lovely big accessory shop there, we've got a six bay workshop and Valentin Bay down the bottom, more off site workshops here at Highbridge Motorhomes Devon, so any questions you can contact us through the Highbridge website, you can put a comment in the comments box on here. You can ring the landline number, which is 01626 832792. Or give us a buzz on the mobile 07432 662 558. And that's Highbridge Motorhomes, Devon Branch. And it's October 2022. Thank you very much. Goodbye.